Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage Base Camp Tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about the measure tool and uh, give you the reason uh, maybe why you would ever use this tool. Because what this tool allows you to do is to roughly measure the distance between two points on the map. Or actually, it's actually quite accurate, but in the case what we're going to do with it today, uh, we're just going to be trying to get a rough estimate. So I have my route laid out from the Dallas-Fort Worth area to Hot Springs, as you can see on the map in front of us. And what we want to do is I've decided that I'm going to be getting into the Holiday Inn Express and Hot Springs at 12 uh, in the afternoon, which is noontime. And, you know, that's not very late. That's not very much riding. I want to I want to do some riding before I get to Hot Springs. I've got plenty of time. I'm OK if I don't get to the hotel till three or four o'clock, actually. So in this case, I've decided I've got this big, beautiful Wachita National Forest. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Right as we kind of start coming into Hot Springs, there's this big national forest, and it looks like there's some roads that I might want to explore before I get to Hot Springs. So I'm gonna, I want to make a detour of that area, and how do I know before I make that detour how many miles is it? How, how big a route is this going to be? So let's zoom in on this area, and let's take a look at some, a tool that will kind of help us do that. That's where this measure tool comes in handy. So if I look at this map, I can see here, if I'm down here in Glenwood, I assume this is Arkansas, Glenwood, Arkansas, I could take this little highway up to Black Springs and then over to Mount Ida, Story, all the way up to, say, Danville, and then over to Ola, and then all the way down. Now, it looks like there's some nice curvy roads here, too all the way down and then go back into Hot Springs. But before I take the time to create this route, I want to know what the distance is. So let's grab the measure tool. And I want you to think of this kind of like a pen tool in a graphics program. It allows you to sort of create a polygon. So when we click here on Glenwood and then we draw a straight line to whatever other point, say Black Springs, it's going to give us the distance between those two points. Now, it's not exactly following the road in this case. I'm just trying to get a rough estimate. But you can see here, if I click here, that's 11 miles. Okay, so now let's click up to Mount Ida. And I, again, I'm only getting a rough estimate because this is basically as the crow flies. This is not following the, the curves in the road. I just want to know a rough idea. How many miles are we talking about here? So I just continue to click on this road up here to Rover and then up here to Danville. And then I'm going to cut over here. And there's a little curve there, so I'm going to stop there. You can see I'm already up to a total of 63.57 miles. That's the number in pink is your total miles for this whole route that we're creating. So I'm going to click here on Ola. I'm going to come down here and click. And I'm going to click again. And you can see that we're up to 80 miles. And then I'm going to click here because there's a pretty good size curve here. So I'll take that into consideration. And I'm basically just drawing like a little polygon, you might say, around this route. And let's come on down to, to Hot Springs. Okay, so it looks like my total, based on these points, is roughly 110 miles. Now, when we actually ride this road, it, it could be 130 miles because of all the curves. But that lets me kind of visually see how much distance I'd be adding to my trip. And in this case, I think that's a worthwhile endeavor. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the Waypoint Creation Tool to actually modify this route so that we can take a nice scenic tour through the Wachita National Forest. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below.